Now, opposition members of the Parliamentary Committee on Vakth Amendment Bill met with Speaker Om Birla to protest the unilateral decision of the panel chairperson Jagdambika Pal. The ongoing controversy over Vakth Board claiming ownership of farmland of various farmers in Karnataka has taken a new turn uh, with the chair chairperson of the Joint Parliamentary Committee looking into the Vakth Amendment Bill, deciding to visit Vijaypura and uh, Hubal on November 7th to interact with affected farmers. JPC Chairperson Jagdambika Pal will be visiting Karnataka following a petition uh, by BJP MP Tejashwi Surya who had appealed to him to hear the grievances of the affected farmers. Well, let's go back to Aishwarya now for more on this story in Aishwarya. So the Vak, uh, you know, uh, the JPC head, they're trying to, uh, you know, involve what's happening in Karnataka, the politics over Vak land there and, uh, you know, going and, and, and saying that he will be going there uh, to see this, uh, this issue firsthand and speak to farmers. So this will add to more complications in the entire process. Well, and that's the allegation that the opposition MPs had uh, uh, put forward in front of the Lok Sabha speaker while writing it uh, down and signing, uh, which includes MPs like uh, Sanjay Singh, Kalyan Banerjee, Asaduddin Oasi, M.M. Abdullah. And uh, in this particular letter, the opposition MPs have stated that uh, the JPC chairperson had made several decisions which are unilateral in itself. Uh, JPC is a mini parliament and in a mini parliament there should be majority of uh, the votes that should be sought uh, to make cert certain decisions as far as the sittings are concerned, as far as consultative processes are concerned and uh, calling upon the institutions including the minority affairs ministries of different states, the work board institutions and uh, going ahead further now when Jagdambika Pal, the JPC chairperson has agreed to go to Bengaluru on the request of HSP Surya to uh, assess one of the Vakf land and to understand that particular case study as well, it is these opposition MPs who are saying that uh, the, the, the chairperson is just acting on uh, what the uh, Treasury benches MPs, what the BJP MPs have been demanding and those decisions have been taken by uh, Jagdambika Pal without even hearing from the opposition MPs and therefore the reason perhaps all those MPs who had written letter yesterday to Lok Sabha Speaker Om Bela. they met uh, Om Bela. It was these MPs who came outside after this meeting and stated that it was a good discussion with uh, the Speaker. Uh, uh, their grievances was heard very respectfully and uh, very calmly by Lok Sabha Speaker, and they're hoping that some uh, 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 some some decision or uh, uh, you know some sort of advice the Lok Sabha Speaker will give to Jagdambika Pal so that uh, JPC can work very independently and can be productive itself to make several amendments uh, that the government is looking forward to. Remember yesterday, in the last sentence, they had stated that they will be uh, forcefully, uh, uh, would, would have to disassociate themselves if such decisions from the JPC chairperson will continue to go on. And therefore, the reason perhaps they met, but of course, the pace of continues, whether this uh, schedule travel in the five cities of the country uh, to have uh, several discussions uh, will uh, calm down uh, between uh, the opposition MPs and the APC chairperson is something that the time will only tell.